we have. Number 11. An excess of liquid mercury is added to a solution of iron 3 plus. They gave us already the equation between this mercury and the iron. And it looks like they already balanced it for us, so that's good. At equilibrium, only 4.6% of iron remains. So what did they give us again, similar to what we just solved? What are we given? If 4.6 iron remains at equilibrium, yani what are they giving me? Yalla. What are they giving me? The concentration of iron 3 plus at equilibrium. Okay. Verify that the equilibrium constant is 0 0.25. Honey, yani, they're giving you the K and they're asking you to verify it. Make sure that it's correct. And calculate the E naught of AG. So again, it's a direct mixture. They're not in separate containers. K is from the concentration at equilibrium. K is not going to come from the E naught. Why? Because I don't have the E naught of one of the couples. And um, we need to do pretty much what we did in the other one. Ice table. Mercury is a liquid, so I'm not going to put its concentration. Initial concentration of Fe3 plus is given to me. Minus 2x plus x plus 2x is the overall that we always write. It may be complete, it may be not. We will we'll see. 0 0.01 minus 2x, x and 2x is the ice table. Is it a complete reaction? I don't know. I don't have K. Do I have delta E's to even see if the difference in delta E's is greater than 0 0.25 to assume that maybe it's complete? No, I don't have delta E's. But what do I have? They told me that the reaction remaining Fe2 3 plus is this amount, 4.6%. That means that the reaction is not complete because I have something remaining. Hey, one. Two, if I take the 4.6 percent, yani me 100 times the initial concentration, whatever it is, 0 0.001, I get the amount remaining at equilibrium. So I can calculate the equilibrium concentration. And once I have the equilibrium concentration, then what? Then this value here. Zero point zero zero one minus two x equals mish zero because that's not complete equals whatever the amount remaining, which is four point six times ten to the minus five. And if I have this, then I could solve for the x. So indeed, so solve for the x, you get the x value. And once you have the x value. Oh, great. That means I have the concentration of every single space is at equilibrium because I already have them in terms of the X. OK, so now I have the concentration of every species at equilibrium from the concentration of every species at equilibrium. I could find the K. K would be iron squared two plus mercury two two plus. At divided by iron two, the uh, three plus. Multiply through and get the K. Indeed, we get the K to be 0 0.2205, uh, which is but the number that they gave us, so I have verified it. I verified that this is the K value. Once I have the K, me personally, I've memorized this number. By the way, um, I, delta E is log K times 0 0.0592 divided by the number of electron transferred. 
or he get kahafas zero five nine two ala n log k. That is the delta e naught. As you wish, like I said, whichever one you want to memorize, you do it. Um, and I'm a daemon how the log k is n delta e ala zero point zero five nine two. Because usually, mana delta E, we want to find K. Anyways, now you have the K, you have the number of electrons transferred. Actually, we don't. Let's check it, the number of electrons transferred for the overall reaction which they gave us. Let's look at it. Fe3 plus goes to Fe2 plus. This is one electron what gained. gain of one electron, uh, so minus one, or I have to subtract one, and I must multiply it by two, because that's in the equation. Mercury zero goes to mercury two plus loss of two electrons plus two, and so this is the oxidation half. This is the reduction half. And it's already two electrons uh, lost or gained. OK. So I don't have to multiply it by anything. So the number of electrons lost and gained is two. And there is what the two comes from. OK. So if you get delta E is minus 0 0.20. And so E reduction minus E oxidation. We want to find the E of the E naught of the mercury. We found the E naught from the K. Delta, uh, the delta E naught from the K. Delta E naught is E reduction, E naught reduction minus E naught oxidation. The reduction is the iron. Oxidation is the mercury, as we just saw by the charge transfer. And we solve now for the E naught of mercury. Delta E naught minus, or actually, we're going to take the mercury on this side, take the delta E naught to that side, and solve. We get it's 0 0.71. Now, look at this number. Just pay attention for a moment. This is higher. Mercury has a higher E naught than the iron. Whoops. That means the mercury should have undergone reduction and the iron should have been the one undergoing oxidation had it been a spontaneous reaction. So actually, this reaction is not spontaneous in the forward direction. Right? Yet, now we still did minus X plus X. And that's the point, guys, that no matter what the K value is, the direction has nothing to do with the K, okay, at all. The direction has nothing to do with the K. Um, and indeed, in the spontaneous direction, we should have gone the opposite way. <laughs> opposite way, we can end a zero, zero solution. How can it go the opposite way? It doesn't, but the reaction tendency is more in the opposite direction. Uh, or it's not spontaneous in the forward direction. So this mixture uh, is actually not spontaneous. The reaction as written is not spontaneous under standard conditions but may be spontaneous under non-standard conditions. The reaction advances forward to achieve equilibrium. Why does it advance forward even if it's not spontaneous? It advances forward again because the product's initial concentration is zero, zero. So is a biji the Q is zero, no matter how, you know, what the K is, this Q is less than K. No matter, K, let's say 10 to the minus 200, it's still some value greater than zero. <laughs> Low. Okay. Uh, no matter what the K is. Talamali Q zero, it's going to advance in the forward. Right? 
production, which is something the French people Number 12. Direct contact, redox, reaction, oxidant and reductant. Kill me direct contact, just so we know again, is that we're mixing the oxidant reductant and that we're not splitting them into two separate cells. We're not getting a battery. It's a direct mixture. And eventually the e the E of the solution of the mixed solution together is yeah in the oxidant or from the reductant because when you mix them خلص, eventually the reaction reaches equilibrium and the delta E of the mixture is always equal to zero. We mix up a solution of titanium. They gave you the volume and the concentration. With UTM oxide, they gave you the volume and its concentration. And the pH is buffered, tell me, buffered, yani constant, at a pH is 4. Okay. The medium is buffered at pH 4, yani concentration of H plus in my solution is 10 to the minus 4, and it is a constant. Okay. That's what it is. And now, UTM oxide reacts with the titanium 2 plus an oxidant of one couple reacting with the reductant of another couple okay. right they gave you the two e naught values so great and just looking at the e naught a titanium couple is best to undergo oxidation and the UTM is to undergo reduction. So the reaction as written is indeed spontaneous. Hey, the UTM oxide reacts my 10 to plus to give me UTM 4. Lazin, I really don't need to write the chart to do this. Hi, ma. Hi, Tatine. This product and this product. But E naught values. This is reacting with the titanium. Indeed, in the gamma direction. Find under standard conditions in the gamma direction. And like I said, usually if it's standard under uh, gamma uh, and it's gamma in the standard conditions, it will also be spontaneous in the non-standard conditions because that's usually the case. Okay, uh, overall reaction, TO2 and titanium. We must get a balanced equation and first try to get the balanced equation. So we're going to take it two. I'm going to do it by two separate half reactions. Um, reduction half first. Okay, UO2 two plus becoming UO4. LU is balanced. I need two waters to balance the oxygens on the product. I need four H pluses to balance the hydrogens on the reactant. And let's look at the charge now. And the two plus, so four plus, six plus. And the four plus here, what do I have to do to this end? I have to add two electrons. But contafua, six plus, plus N, masalam four plus. The N must be, take the six minus two, yani I add two electrons to this. Or just, you should, you know, it's not something you really need to calculate. Yeah. Okay, that's it for that equation. Titanium goes to tight three plus. So uh, no oxygen, no hydrogens, just electrons to be balanced. Two plus, I did a three plus, but the one electron on the product side to be balanced. We must multiply the bottom by two 
in order to balance the overall charge gained and charge lost and rewrite the equation. Add the two equations. You get an overall balanced equation. That's my balanced equation and you choose answer A for it. Part two, but an equilibrium constant K. Yalla, tell me K name to J. Either from concentrations of products are reactants or from Delta E zero. Delta E zero. Okay, so do we have the delta E zeros for the reaction? No, we have the concentration, so it's better to use the concentration chart. Or we can I calculate the delta E zero command. Actually, Actually, I don't have concentrations, just at equilibrium and the, and the initial concentrations. Actually, you don't have final concentrations, nor concentration at equilibrium. I took the initial concentrations. My? Yes. Okay, so do watch out. I do not have concentration at equilibrium, nor can I get it unless I have K. <laughs> Clear? But I do have the E naughts for both the reduction half oxidation half, so I will use log K equals N delta E naught 0.0592. Get the E naught of the two couples E reduction minus E of uh, E naught at oxidation. Multiply it by the number of electron transferred, which we just found is two, divide by 0 0.0592, get log K and get the K value. Are we clear? If you're given delta E, e nodes, halos, get the K from the E nodes. We do not have concentration at equilibrium. Now, what up, look at this EK. What do you, then you ask yourself, is it complete or is it limited or do I have to set up an equilibrium? Set up, I need to set it's up an equilibrium. Here it is greater than 10 to the 4, so it is complete. Kilmit complete, Yani. It's done. Kilmit complete. Now they want concentration of all the ions at equal librium. Let's see the overall reaction. I need first to get the concentration initial after mixing. Why? Because they gave you volumes. What did they give me? Volumes. So when they give you concentration and volumes, it means that these concentrations are before mixing. So I have to get the new concentration of titanium initial after mixing, which is the old concentration, double volume, which is 25, divided by V total. UTM, its concentration C2, divided by its volume V2, divided by V total, is the concentration after mixing. Now I have the initial concentrations of both species after mixing. Please, 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 I this too has nothing to do with this initial concentration. This too will come later when it comes to the change, yani minus X. OK, plus 2x. انتبهوا لهوني بدي إلكن حط plus uh, minus 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 2x minus 4x. What will be the UTM? x plus 2x. Water mem. This is the change. And then we have at equal. Librium, the ice table. However, do I really need an ice table if I'm complete? Yes, but fini dugri, complete. This reaction is complete. What does that mean? That this X is what can be found. I don't need the equilibrium constant. I can find him. From who do I find the X? 
complete. Limiting reactant. X is found from the limiting reactant. Who's the limiting reactant? Is it the reagent? We have to look at the reagents. Oh, by the way, never H plus is a buffered hatta. If it's the least concentration, kill me buffer, that means its concentration remains constant. Yeah, and no matter how it reacts, its concentration, it's a buffer. So it remains at 10 to the minus 4, حتى لو عم يعمل minus 4x to react. But kilmit buffer, it means that this remains constant. And I never consider H plus as a limiting reactant. So I have to look at the reactants, which is not H plus. Is the titanium the limiting reactant or the UTM? Okay, now we look at the initial concentrations. Hey, the 0 0.25. Well, sorry, 0 0.5 divided by 2. You must first divide them by 2. Hey, the 0 0.1 divide him by 1. So who's the limiting? Titanium, this concentration. The titanium. And what's the X value? If this is the limiting, yani his concentration will become zero, zero because he's the limiting. We take the 0 0.05 minus 2x, and you solve for the x value, 0 0.05 divided by 2. So the x is 0 0.25. So from the limit, I find the limiting reactant. Take initial concentration divided by the stoichiometric ratio, decide who's limiting, and then solve for the X and put everything inside. Now, I've solved for the X, so this becomes 0 0.1 minus X, which happens to be 0 0.1 minus 0 0.025. And likewise, I solve for everything at At equilibrium. So, Lahzin, these concentrations are the concentrations at equilibrium. So, initial at equilibrium or final. Initial and final. Why? Because the reaction is complete. Nonetheless, the charge, like I was solving before, I still can put x or minus x. This is 0 0.1 minus X. So I solve the X from the titanium. So I have all the concentrations at equilibrium. Uh, what do I not have, though? What do I not have? Hey, the SAR zero. So SAR zero. If they want the concentration of each species at equilibrium, and the reaction is complete, then it's easy to find all the values, more or less. But we done one value, which is zero, and we're not allowed to put it as zero. We have to go get him from the K. It's that titanium two plus. Get, put everything, substitute the K value, products a la reactants, each to its stoichiometry. And solve for the limiting reactant, which is supposedly zero, but illa ma fishi ismo zero, illa two epsilon, or khalas, he yi titanium of two, uh, titanium two plus at equilibrium. Solve for the titanium two plus, and we get titanium two plus. Titanium two plus becomes this number. Notice it's very small, and that's logical because it's supposed to be zero to begin with. Just so you know, in concours exams, redox takes more time than acid base. 
ما بعرف لأن أسئلته بدها كالكوليشنز ومشكلتكم مع الكالكوليتر وبتجوا قال ما تلاقوا هيدا الرقم مثلا بالأمسيك وبترجعوا بتعيدوا الكالكوليشن وهيدا اللي بياخد منكم وقت أوكي okay. uh, unfortunately but redox questions in my opinion may be you know direct and no really they are rep repetitive of each other. ما بنخترع بالريدوكس redox. ما في كتير اختراعات يعني. Okay. I'm actually should I stop or should I let me continue? Fifteen more minutes. Okay. I'm actually gonna stop here. Okay, we'll continue with electrochemical batteries uh, on Monday. We have the time. Okay. If you want, do check it out yourself. Again, you guys do try. Always, I prefer that you try to solve. Um, but first, make sure that you resolve what we did and then, you know, try the rest on your own. 